Welcome to the part 2 of top SQL interview questions for data scientists. If you are actively looking for a data science job, this video is perfect for you. Before you watch this video, make sure to watch the part 1 of top SQL interviews for data scientists. Many people have a fear on interviews and I have been there before. I want you to show up in interviews confidently and know that you are going to nail it. That's why I spend so much time and energy creating all these YouTube videos and blog posts to help you ace your data science interviews. So leverage what I offer and land your dream data scientist job. Alright guys, let's get started. Hey guys, in this video, let's talk about the ratios. The ratio problem is very frequent in SQL interviews, and you might get a ratio problem in every single interview. So in this video, we are going to dive into the ratios problem in depth. We'll first look at what is calculating ratios problem, and what are two methods to use to calculate ratios, and then we'll look at two examples to calculate ratios. At the end of this video, you will have a very clear idea on how to calculate ratios and what are the methods to use to write the query. Alright, let's start with looking at the problem. So what is calculating ratios problem? The problem is to compute the ratio or a percentage giving some data entries or system logs. For example, query the percentage of users who has some specific behavior from a table with user behavior logs. Another example is to query the percentage of products that satisfy some specific criteria based on a purchase history table. Typically, the numerator and denominator are counts that come from the same table. To compute a the ratio, there are two common methods we can use. The first method is subquery method. We use the subquery to compute the denominator and the main query to compute the numerator and the ratio. Another method is a case one method. We use a case one statement to compute the numerator and the main query to compute the denominator and the ratio. Well, this may sound abstract, so let's look at some examples to see how to use these two methods to compute a ratio. The first example is a simple example. We want to get the subscription rate. Here's the table subscription. It has only two columns, user ID, which is the ID of the user, and the premium. The premium column shows whether the user has opt-in for the premium subscription, so it only has value true or false. What we want to get is to write a query to calculate the premium subscription rate, the count of premium subscribers over the total number of users. Now let's first use a subquery method to calculate a ratio. We use a subquery to get the denominator. In this case, the denominator is the total number of users. So the denominator can be written as this. Select the count use ID from subscription. And then we can use another count function to get the numerator. So the whole query looks like this. We select the count use ID, multiply by 1.0, divided by select the count use ID from subscription as ratio from this table, subscription, where premium equals true. Here we use multiply by 1.0 to avoid integer division, and the outcome will be decimal number instead of an integer. Okay, now let's move forward to the case 1 method. We can use a case 1 statement to return either 0 or 1 based on a certain condition. There are two ways we can use this case 1 method. One way is to use the sum function to get the numerator. We first use the case 1 statement, then sum over all the numbers returned, this will give us the count rows that meet the condition we specified. We usually use this method to compute the numerator. In this case, we can use select the sum, case 1 premium equals true, then 1, else 0, and multiply by 1.0 divided by count user ID as ratio. This sum case 1 statement will give us the count of premium subscribers, which is the numerator. And then we multiply this numerator by 1.0 to avoid integer division. So that's one way we use a case 1 statement to get the ratio. Another method to use a case 1 statement is easier. We use average function instead of the sum function. This will help us avoid calculating the denominator. So we replace sum with average function. And here we don't need to get the denominator of the ratio. So we simply select average case 1 premium equals true, then 1.0 else 0, 0.0 and as ratio from this table. So this method only works when the denominator is the total number of count. Note that we change the return value to decimals. We use 0, 0.0 else 0, 0.0 to avoid integer division in the average function. So these are two ways we can use a case 1 statement. 
one way is to use the sum function to get the numerator and then use the count function to get the denominator. The other method is to use the average function, which helps us avoid calculating the denominator. Now let's move forward to another example called immediate order. We have access to this table called delivery. It has three columns, customer ID, order date, and prep delivery date. So order ID is an integer and the other two columns are dates. What we want to get is the percentage of users who place their first order as an immediate order. The first order is the earliest order that the customer placed based on the order date. And the immediate order is defined as same day order, orders with the same customer preferred delivery date and order date. We want to get the result as a decimal named immediate percentage. In this example, we have the immediate percentage is 50%. Um, customer ID number two and number four satisfy this criteria, and the other two do not. Let's look at why. Customer ID one placed their first order on 2019-0801, but the preferred delivery date was 2019-0802, so the customer did not place an immediate order. By comparison, customer ID two did have an immediate order because the first order date, 2019-0802, the same as its preferred delivery date. We can also check customer ID 3 and 4 and turn out that customer ID 2 and 4 place an immediate order while the other two did not. So the immediate percentage is 0.5. Now let's see how to write this query to get the result we want. Let's try the subquery method first. So using the subquery method, we want to get the numerator and denominator separately. For the numerator, we want to count the number of customers whose first order is an immediate order. To get this, we can use group by having. So we can select customer ID from this table delivery, group by customer ID, having minimum order date equals minimum preferred delivery date. This will give us all the customers whose first order is an immediate order. We can use with CTE to store the result we just got. We call this first order. Now we have both the numerator and denominator to get the ratio we need. So we can select count customer ID multiplied by 1.0 divided by select count distinct customer ID from the original table delivery as immediate percentage from first order. Count customer ID multiplied by 1.0 is the number of customers whose first order is an immediate order and this subquery is the denominator of the ratio we need. So that's how we can get immediate percentage using the subquery method. Now let's see how to get the ratio using the case one method. Using the case one method, what we want to do is use the average case one statement, and we want to select the first order date equals the preferred delivery date, and calculate the average of this ratio to get the immediate percentage. The first order date is not given from the original table, so we need a table which contains the first order date for each customer. And to do this, one way is to get the rankings of the order dates and select the ranking equals 1. We can use the row number function over partition by customer ID, order by order date as order rank to get the rankings of the orders based on the order date. This is the result using the row number function. For each customer, we have the order rank for each order based on the order date. Here's the result. For each order, we have the order rank based on the order date in ascending order. Now we can put this query into with CTE and call this table ordered delivery. Now we can use the average case one statement to specify when the order date equals preferred delivery date, then 1.0, otherwise it's 0, 0.0. And this average will be the immediate percentage. Here we need to use a where clause to select the first order, and that's when the order rank equals 1. So these are two ways, the subquery method and the case one statement method to solve the same problem. If you like this video, I have a whole playlist on SQL interview questions for data scientists. Check them out and be fully ready for your very next data science interview.